Hello YouTube, this is Painter for Hire 1975 with you. I've decided to make another video. Uh, so let's get started. Um, this is a Mary Jane Comic Cat, Sideshow Comic Cat. Um, I had the pleasure of repainting this for a client. Uh, this, this in my opinion, was one of the most funnest pieces I ever got to paint. Um, I really like the colors that I chose. Um, Sideshow's representation is, is nice, but one thing I don't like about Sideshow's version is if you ever looked at it, Mary Jane has kind of like brownish, brownish hair. She doesn't have brown hair. You know, she has red hair. So, you know, I'm not sure why anybody would make Mary Jane have like brownish hair when she doesn't. She has, like I said, she has red hair. That's one of the, her distinctive trademarks. Um, everything is repainted on here except for the little detergent bottle. Um, I also I even repainted the, the spider outfit. It And the pictures, it probably appears to look close to the same color. But I actually kind of went and made the blue a little bit more blue. Um, and the red was, I went with a deeper red. Um, the jeans, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I actually painted the jeans kind of like stonewash type, you know, jeans kind of like, you know, faded out and stuff. Uh, the belt, I went with brown leather. Um, it just overall, it just, it's a much, in my opinion, much better representation than the sideshow piece. And I thank the client for giving me the opportunity to paint this awesome piece. Um, I paint, repainted everything, even the table. I added little detergent spill along the bucket. It's kind of, like I say, it's kind of hard to see this stuff in video, but it's there. Um, I just, I just really, really did a good job with this piece. Um, I like. I really like the way this one came out. I mean, this is. I have this particular statue, and after painting this one, I am almost considering repainting mine. I really like the color choices I made. Um, I did not choose the sweater or the shirt color. He wanted it to be kind of like a purple, like a heatherish purple. So I went with a uh, uh, darker purple, and then kind of like dry brushed it which it turned out pretty good if I ever redid mine I probably wouldn't choose this color I don't know maybe like a bright yellow or or um or a black or something but uh like I said yeah it it was his choice so um but it looks really good on her I mean it's a really good uh color choice I mean I, it actually matches the her pants a lot, so I kind of like that. Um, it's kind of hard to see the thong. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a close up of it. Um, her thong is kind of like a like a neonish orange color or neon pink or something like that. It looks really good in person, um, and it looks good in the videos, I'm sure, but it looks better in person. It, you just it's a lot of people post pictures of the of their statues and stuff that they've painted and it's really hard to see like really good quality of videos but when you get it in person it, you can just totally like appreciate everything that someone has done so I'm a little sick so uh, forgive me on the if I just don't sound as enthusiastic as I do in some of my other videos but I wanted to get this video made so I could ship this off to the client this like I said man this is a great great piece and uh, these are really hard to find now I mean you can get them on eBay but you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for them uh, he actually got his cheap and he said something about um, it got damaged so I had to like repair it a little bit and uh you know go in and fix and do a little bit of putty work and 
glue, glue a few pieces. But uh, overall, you know, she, she came out really great. I just hope, I just hope the client will like it when he gets it in person. I'm sure he will. Like I said, this is this was a blast to paint. I mean, I love painting pieces like this. Such an iconic piece to see if I can get a close up. I mean, look at the Spider Man suit. The spills on the bucket. I mean, there's a lot of detail. I even put spills on the floor because I figure, hey, if she's washing Spider Man's outfit, you know, it's it's gonna fall on the floor as well. And uh, yeah, I like this. I like this statue a lot. I'm not sure who sculpted it, but this this is a great statue. I love this representation of Mary Jane. She's a uh, I mean, it's a great, great piece. If you like Mary Jane, this is this is the statue to have, in my opinion. I have uh, quite a few other pieces in the works, so keep an eye out for cool new videos. I got some really cool stuff coming that I'm going to be doing. Um, a lot of, a lot of, um, a couple one four scale pieces. I don't think I have posted a one four scale video here on YouTube yet, so. Uh, look out for that and um, if uh, you like what you see subscribe if you have any comments or questions get back with me okay this is painter for hire 1975 and Mary Jane signing off